Hey there, Josh Color here with Color Media, back with the content tip of the week, brought to you by Color Media, Josh Color, you know how it is. But today, I'm going to talk to you about a very, very awesome video online video editor platform that's going to make video editing absolutely easy for you. And the thing that I want to encourage is that I know that a lot of times with uh, business owners and entrepreneurs, people that have have small businesses, they understand that video content is important. They understand that content in general is important, but a lot of times they get scared away because of the fact that they don't know how to edit video, they don't know how to throw a podcast together, produce content in general, throw it on social media, stuff like that. And that all gets confusing, but that's why I'm doing these content tips uh, of the week. I'm gonna be doing these every single Monday. So if you missed last week, I talked about branding your content and how easy it is, and I showed you some platforms for that. So for this, for this specific episode, I'm gonna teach you, even if you don't know video editing, how easy it is to edit a video. So one of, one of the things I wanna make sure that you get past is that People nowadays are becoming okay with raw video content, thanks to guys like Gary Vaynerchuk, um, guys like uh, Brendan Burchard. I mean, a lot of people that put out video content on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's not like this produced where they're in a studio, they're standing in front of a camera, reading off a teleprompter, and so people are becoming okay with it. They're becoming okay with raw video content. A lot of times it brings across more of a genuine feel. And so I wanna encourage you that flipping your cell phone camera towards you and recording a quick video is an okay thing to do nowadays. So just an encouragement. And then the next step is to actually doctor that video up just a little bit, edit it so that you can get it looking awesome. And so you get a video that looks just like this. So one little nugget that I have for you is this thing that's called the self journal. Uh, I use it every single day and it really helps me to organize my thoughts. Uh, in the morning, it, you know, I, I, uh, I just write in what I'm grateful for uh, and so I have a couple people there that I'm grateful for. So as you could see there with that video, I was able to throw in captions and then also the sound wave little bars along with the, the graphic up top and whatnot. So I'm gonna teach you today how to do that and it's gonna be super easy. You don't have to be a video editor in order to do it. So um, something I wanna encourage you with and I'm gonna walk you through it. But before I get into the specific platform, I wanna talk to you just for like one minute on why video content's important in the first place. So I'm gonna give you a couple statistics here and these two statistics, I actually didn't even know it was this much, but this should reinforce why video content's important in the first place. The first thing is that every single minute, this is minutes, not day, not hour, every single minute, 300 hours of video are pushed out to YouTube every single minute, every minute. Now, you might rebuttal that with, okay, Josh, so the market's saturated with video. Why would I do that in the first place? Well, hold on here. The next stat is 100 million hours of video per day are consumed on Facebook. So 100 million hours of video per day. Think about that. I can't even fathom that. So the first statistic I told you that that much content is being put out in video form on YouTube and then there's probably an insane amount of hours consumed on YouTube every day, right? Um, but then 100 million views per day on Facebook on video content is being consumed. So that should tell you that video content's important in the first place. And even you probably know if you're on social media or whatnot, you probably do consume some form of video content. And the thing that you gotta remember about content, no matter if it's video, podcast, photo, written, it doesn't matter. The thing about content is there's three things, is that you, you're, you're either educational, informational, or entertaining, or if you're good enough, you could be all three. But those are the three pillars of content that really sum up what it is. And so with video, you're probably either watching videos that are educational, whether it's a how-to video on, on YouTube or an informational video, a video showing you a walkthrough of a property or something like that if you're interested in buying or entertaining, I don't know, smashing pumpkins or whatever, right? So that's the thing that you need to understand here. So then the, the, the more intangible things about video is that you're able to express yourself a lot more intimately with communication through video than any other platform. I strongly believe in podcasting. I host two podcasts and actually I host three podcasts. 
and I help other people produce podcasts, several other people. And so I believe in that very much. I've written a book, so I believe in written form as well. I'm a photographer, so I do photos and post photos and whatnot. But at the end of the day, none of those mediums can connect with somebody like video can. The reason is, is because if you've seen the statistic, I think it's like 70 or 80% of communication is through body language. That's a crazy number, but it is. So you seeing me do my hands like this and the, my facial expressions as I'm explaining it, that's important. And you see that on video. You don't get that in podcast format or in written form or in photo. So that's a huge thing. That's, that's a huge thing when it comes to communicating with people. And that's how people oftentimes judge someone is by their bodily expressions on how they, they talk and communicate. And video allows you to do that, which is freaking awesome. And then the last thing here that I have is social platforms love, 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 love video content. And here's the reason why, is because in order for you to consume the video content, what do you have to do? You have to stay on their platform. And what do these social platforms want you to do? They want you to stay on their platform. That's why Facebook is creating uh, you know, a marketplace. Like, What the heck, when, when Facebook started, it was uploading a status about going on a date night with my girlfriend and, and stuff like that. And now you're able to sell, buy and sell things on Facebook. Like, it's absolutely crazy. But that's the reason why that social platforms push video so far in the algorithms is because in order to watch the full video, you have to stay on their platform. So that just kind of reinforces the importance of video. Now, Without further ado, let's jump into this platform that I'm going to show you that is absolutely awesome. A beginner could do it. You don't have to have any kind of video production skills or anything. So I'm excited about this. Let's jump into it. So I got a recording here. I'm doing a screen recording. So the platform is called headliner.app.aap. So headliner.app, you're gonna come across this beautiful looking website and it's gonna tell you everything that you can do, but I'm gonna show it to you here just real quick. So. I'm already logged in, so I'm gonna jump in here and bring it up here. So the first thing that you can do, you can see all my projects here that I have going on. And obviously, like you can tell, I really don't remember to name my projects, but that's okay. The awesome thing about this too is that when you, if your Chrome browser crashes or whatever reason, then the platform actually saves your your edits every single time you make one and then it stores it to the cloud and whatnot. So obviously you do have to have an internet connection for this. So there's multiple places you can start, but I'm gonna go straight to the editor. So you can do video transcription, article to video, which is freaking awesome. So you can literally upload it a short article and have it transformed into a video. That's pretty cool. Um, and then go straight to editor. So you can do it one of two ways. So you can do, or a three ways. So you can do landscape, square, portrait, which, in another video, I'll explain why Square is by far the best thing that you can do. So you're gonna load up the, the project. So it's gonna bring you to this timeline here. Now don't get too antsy when you see this. I know a lot of times people are like, that's a big timeline and that's a lot of tools that you can use, but just bear with me. So um, it's gonna open up here. So the first thing that I normally do, and this is a little bit of a, a glitch. I don't know if they need to work out in their system, but when you upload a video, it doesn't allow you to use the waveforms and transcription for the video. If you're listening headliner.app, let me know, reach out to me and let me know if there is a way. Um, so I got, I'm gonna upload my video. So upload and then you can choose um, your MP4, JPEG, PNGs and whatnot. So I'm gonna navigate to my desktop and upload this one that I already have. Um, so the cool thing here is that you can um, select entry transitions and exit transitions. I always just do cut because I want it plain and simple. And then you can mess around with all this stuff and because I'm going to be entering a transcription and a waveform, a uh, little graphic, I'm going to lower my video audio level all the way down or else I'm gonna upload my audio and it's gonna be all jumbled up and whatnot. So um, I'm gonna do that. So add to video, it's gonna take a minute to add. Now one thing I wanna make sure that you guys understand is that um, there is probably a way where you can have the transcription go through video. When I figure that out, I'll let you know, but I've searched around a little bit and haven't figured it out. Um, but a little trick that I found is just uploading the audio to that and it'll work perfectly for you. All right, so I am back and I uploaded my video. It took a little bit longer to upload because my internet's a little slow right now because I'm recording on Zoom, but um, that is my video now. So you can see I got my timeline going on here and then I can play it and whatnot. So in order to add my audio, I'm gonna add audio here and then I'm going to select it. So I've got it right here. And um, the cool thing about this, so what you wanna do is make sure on the transcription you turn on 
and select your language obviously. I always use fast, low fidelity, and then just add to video. So that'll take a second and then you'll be able to use the transcription on there. Now, the one thing that I wanna make sure that you guys understand is that this is a free platform, right? So it's absolutely free. There's literally no strings attached, which is freaking cool. But I found that the transcriptions are about 80% accurate, um, 75 to 80% accurate. So you might have to go in and do a, little, do a little editing, but they make it very easy to edit. So that's not gonna be a problem. All right, so while this transcription is getting locked and loaded, I'm actually going to click on my audio here. And now with this, so it says wave type, you can actually select so different like styles of wave. So I, this, is, this one is my favorite is wave. You got round bars, you've got bricks, you've got equalizer and a bunch of other awesome stuff. So I'm just gonna choose wave and then you can choose the color. So you choose, let's go with red and then I can drop the opacity a little bit so it's a little transparent and then like that. And I just, I don't even mess with the audio fade in and whatnot because I don't like that. Then you can come over here and actually drag it wherever you want it to be. So you can do that, you can minimize it, you can make it bigger. So that's pretty cool. So then I'm gonna click save and it's gonna add it. And then as you can see here, my transcription is already added in. So if we play the video, you'll see that it is doing this for me. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I use it every I'm gonna turn the volume on. And it really helps me to organize my thoughts uh, in the morning and all right so you see that there so that's pretty cool now if you're wondering what I did up here this is just a little bit of Photoshop work um, but if you just leave that out and do the video it works the same too so this is pretty cool now with the um, transcription you have it over here in order to edit it you all you gotta do is click in the box and then just type in whatever you want click play and then it'll save it and there you go so there it is if you want to change the different style of it all you gotta do is go to style and then you can move the transcription position around a little bit. Um, and then you can go to custom, you can change the font, the font size, the color, so I can make it red, uh, font style bold, you can make it a background, right? So you can go white, um, go white, there we go. <laughs> and then uh, highlight, so you can do like that. Um, so th there's a lot of different things you could do. You can do animation, so you can do karaoke style where it literally has like, almost like the bouncing ball type scenario, which it doesn't have a ball, it just highlights it. Um, then you click save and there it goes. This is gonna look absolutely ugly, but it's okay because it's for sake of its journal. example. I use it every single day. So that's what we got going on. And that is pretty much it. It's actually super easy to understand, super easy to deal with, and then all you gotta do to save the video. Um, and then like I said, you can actually, before I save the video, you can go to the end, you can clip this, so make it as short or as long as you want. And then, um, so you can drag the audio here and add that up. And so now it's that length. And then all you gotta do is click export. And then you'll select your email address. So that's my email address and, and it'll send you notification. But what's cool is that it'll still save it on the platform here. So I would just leave it at 24 frame rate, leave it on high video quality. And then if you go to video size, you definitely want it the highest that you can get HD 2 1080 by 1080. I don't add an intro outro, but you can mess around with that if you want. And then you just click export and then it's going to render the video. And eventually it'll give you a box here that says to download video, click here and you'll be able to download the video. So that's it, so that is awesome. This is, I love headliner.app. Even though I'm a video editor myself, I do uh, video production, professional video production, I still use this because it's easier to use for transcriptions and whatnot. And just remember, it is free. So that's the awesome thing about this is that it's free. When I was first told about this, I was like, yeah, there's no way. But it's absolutely free, so you can't complain what you get. It's, there's a lot of options that it gives you and it's pretty cool. So that's what I got for you today. Use it, let me know if you like it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Josh at colormedia.com is my email address. So the headliner.app is the platform that you can do that on. And then tag me, Color Media. So just tag Color Media on social platforms. I'm on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Tag me if you upload a video and just say, hey Josh, thanks for the tip. And that'd be cool. I'd love to see what videos you guys create. So that's gonna do it for today's content tip of the week. This week's content tip of the week. Thank you for joining in. Make sure you share this around and I'll catch you on the next one.